Okay, the blood knot, also called the barrel knot, great for attaching two uh, dissimilar pieces of line together. Could be monofilament to monofilament, monofilament to fluorocarbon, braid to fluorocarbon. Uh, use it in everything from trout to tarpon. Uh, very simple. You're going to make an X with the line. Okay. You're going to wrap one. Let's start with the pink one. We're going to wrap this four times. One, two, three, four. Okay. Four times around, and I'm going to put it right through the X where I was holding. Okay. Then I'm going to pinch this. Okay. So what I have now, four times around, and then back through this little gap right there. Then I'm going to pinch that, and I'm going to pinch it so that I leave myself plenty of room in there. Then I'm going to do the same thing over here. One, two, three, four. I'm going to come up here and I can either put this back through this way, which would be the wrong way. I want to put it back through the opposite way of this other tag that's coming out. So I want to go right in there like that. So when this is tied, these two tag ends are going to be standing out at a right angle opposite one another. Okay, so that's how the knot looks. And as I start to pull it down tight, the barrels will start rolling down and tightening down. And hopefully this stuff will tighten down. Yeah, it will. It'll tighten down just like monofilament. Okay, that's a properly tied blood knot. As you see, the tag ends are coming out at a right angle to the knot. And all of the barrels, why it's called a barrel knot and a blood knot, all of the barrels are... Um, laying side by side. They're not overlapping one another. So right here, I can cut this, cut this, and there's your blood knot. Okay. I can also tie blood knots. If I have something that's very much smaller, I can double the line, either with a bimini or just in my hand like this. And I could take the other side of this show you how to tie this. This is what's called a two-turn blood knot. Right. Say I have 80-pound test with the pink, 20-pound with the, with the white, and I'm going to do the same thing, except I'm only going to take two turns with the pink. One, two. Okay, put that right through here. So that's my 80-pound, and then with my 20-pound doubled, I would take four or five turns. Okay, and then I'll put this back through the opposite way, just like I did with the other one. And what will happen is this will all come down together and look something more like that. Okay, so now I have two turns here, four turns here. I'll trim off all of the tag ends, of which I have three now. Two coming out of the knot, and then I have another tag end here. And that's a great knot for a tarpon leader. So that's the blood knot and the two-turn blood knot. I can show you those in with monofilament or fluorocarbon. This is fluorocarbon, two monofilament. So I'm going to make an X with the lines. I'm going to wrap the clear one, two, three, four, five times. Put it right through here. Wrap the yellow one, two, three, four, five. Put it right through again. I would lubricate it at this point and then I would pull it down in one motion to where that looks like that. Okay. Then I'm going to trim the tags. Close. We get even closer. And there's my blood knot. If I want to see the two turn blood knot with 
monofilament or fluorocarbon. At 20 pound test, fluorocarbon. Going to 80 pound test, fluorocarbon for a tarpon liter. And I'm going to go one, two, put it right through there. And then for this, I'm gonna wrap many, many more times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times there. Put that right through the little gap. I'm going to lubricate that and then I'm going to draw it all down at one time. Ready? One, two, three. <clears throat> Just like that. Trim off the tags. The third tag right here. And there's the two turn blood with fluorocarbon.